talk today. We're going to be talking about practicing self-love, and we have the amazing, amazing Shay from Peaceful Praise. She's going to be really guiding us and supporting us today on our self-love talk. So, Shay, hello. Hi, Melissa. How are you? I am great. I'm excited. I'm happy that we got through all the technical stuff and we are here. <laughs> cool. I'm so excited to be here. You know, I love talking to you. So this is, it's already fun and we haven't even started. <laughs> I know. I know. It's amazing. So, oh, we have a comment. Um, so Anna says, hi. So hola, hola, Anna. <laughs> hey, Anna. How you doing? <laughs> awesome. So, you know, just to talk just really briefly, Shay is amazing. Her prayers are amazing. And every time we're together, I'm like, give me a prayer. You know, I love, I love all her positive energy. And I'm so excited to be sharing her with you today. I like, I'm super, super excited. Anna put her hands up. Um, <laughs> we have a uh, Nova here says, hola, hola, hola. <laughs> So we have a few people coming in and I'm excited. We're going to talk about practicing self-love and, um, Shay, would you like to share something? Would you like to start off, um, on your understanding or like what you see self-love and, and how to practice self-love? Uh, what would be some of the things that you would like to share? Um, I would like to share. Thank you so much. But first, I'm feeling called to pray us in. Yeah. Is that okay? Yes. Uh, that. And we have so, some prayer requests. <laughs> oh, cool. That's even better. Yeah. So hopefully um, everybody uh, will feel this. So those of you that are here today, uh, if you could just take a deep breath. Allow yourself to anchor into the field of prayer. If you feel called to close your eyes, please do so. And right here and right now, we call upon the angels, our guides, our ancestors, all those that are helping us move forth each day in every way. And we are so grateful for them. And at this time, we are elevating ourselves to a new level such that we are truly practicing self-love. As we anchor into this feeling tone, our vibration extends, our consciousness expands, and our heart space melts into one with the one that is all there is. We see health and wholeness in our lives for ourselves and knowing that this extends beyond us in each and every way. So thank you for this divine time together. Thank you for the light that lifts us up each and every moment and allows us to be who we truly are. So in the name and nature of the ascended master consciousness that is really our true nature, we recognize this to be so, and so it is. So it is, amen. Oh, oh Shay, you totally spoke to my soul right now. <laughs> Cool, cool, awesome, awesome. <laughs> Thank you for doing that. I, I love it. Mm. Mm. So, Melissa, you asked me uh, to share some thoughts about self-love. I have a whole lot of thoughts, but, <laughs> but I'm going to just uh, focus on two things today or try to keep it focused unless someone else has uh, something they want to add or ask about. Uh, so the, the one thing I'd like to talk about is... Um, is really what I call a uh, self relationship, mm. like developing a relationship with ourselves. Uh, and what do I mean by that? I mean that, you know, we're taught very well <laughs> to look outside of ourselves. We're taught to um, measure our experiences by how people uh, come back to us, you know, how based on whatever comments we receive, based on uh, the feeling tone of other people. And when we do start to look at ourselves, a lot of time it's from, I'm going to call it an ego perspective. And again, the ego is great. I'm not, but when I mean ego perspective, we're looking at the outside of us. We look at 
you know, what did I do and how well did I do it? Was I successful? Uh, we look at how, how we physically look. You know, am I dressed cute? Uh, you know, how's my hair today? Uh, and even for the guys, the guys are like, you know, how do I look, <laughs> right? Um, and, you know, am I strutting so that, you know, the, the female or if, if, you know, if I'm gay, the men look at, looking at me? Um, so I'm really talking about developing a relationship with our inner selves, the core of who we truly are, the, the infinite, timeless, eternal, divine selves. And from that place, having a relationship with ourselves from that perspective, you know, knowing that we are love, we are joy, we are peace, we are strength, we are power, we are understanding, we are wisdom, we are funny, you know, all the things that we may be that are really part of the inner self. Yeah. Um, and spending time with that self. And I would say, if possible, it, to add that as a practice each and every day, right? Some of us meditate, some of us pray, some of us run. Um, and one way, uh, I like to use affirmations uh, as a way to help us anchor into a specific feeling tone such that once we're doing the affirmation, even if we don't believe it at first, eventually it starts to show up in our lives and then we believe it, right? That's kind of a, a manifestation, like bringing what is really true into the physical. So one of the affirmations um, that, that someone shared with me many years ago that I like to use is, is if I can do it in the mirror, if I can't do it in the mirror, that's fine. Do it while I'm driving and saying, you know, I love you, Shay. Shay, I love you. Mm. And really like saying it to my soul. So I want to share that. Hopefully that's helpful to, to other people. What do you think about that, Melissa? That, that's, that is so speaks to, to what it resonates with me very well, right? It, it really talks about, in other words, the alignment too, right? It's, it's, um, it's like when, when self love isn't a thing you do, it's a, a, a being, uh, uh, you being that and it shows up for us so differently and it really takes getting to know our true alignment in in our connection with divinity right and whatever way in which we find divinity in yes. and i think you you put it so well and so simple right and and i love it because in the simplicity it makes it doable because sometimes we feel like it has to be something that consumes us. We may have to change things that we don't want to change. And it's not about really changing anything. It's about embracing more of who you are. Yes. And, and I love that because when you just, like you said, you're driving or even in the mirror or whatever in your head, you're just telling yourself as much as possible how much you are loving yourself and, and really tapping into that alignment. And I think we're hitting something really deep here because when we can do that, I really feel, and the angels have shared this with me, this is where healing happens, right? Because in that love moment, you're in that joy. You're, you know, you are embracing where you are no matter what's happening right? You could be sick, not sick. You could be healthy, not healthy. And I'm using them in, you know, quotations yes. because it's relevant in that way because it's all about perception. And so I, I love the way you shared it because it was very simple, right? And doable so that we can like all embrace it, you know? And a lot of times I, you know, I ask people, do you love yourself? Do you tell yourself you love yourself? Oh, but I know I love myself. I'm like, but do you really? Like, and, and the way that you can mm -hmm. figure that out is based on how you make decisions every day. Mm -hmm. You know, are you making decisions out of love? Like, I love myself so much that I make decisions that feel this way. Yes, yes. You yeah. know, you make, you make several good points. Excuse me, I just want to get a drink of water real quick. Yeah, go ahead. Me too. 
Our higher self is saying, <laughs> drink water. <laughs> Everybody have some water. We, we all need to drink more, more water, by the way. Um, the, uh, Melissa, everything you said is very uh, on point for me. You know, you talk about like in, in, embodying basically loving yourself. And I think that's important. But I do think before, even if you're there, I think that literally having a practice, because, um, for example, folks, people that are athletes, they know even if, you know, I can always hit a bank shot or, or um, I'm a singer and I can hit a certain note, right? They're still in the practicing of it. It gets you, I'm going to use your word, in alignment yeah. such that you can be it. And then once you, you're still being it, there's still a level of practice because at least on earth, <laughs> maybe not other places, but on earth, um, when we stop the practice, we either um, stop expanding or the level, I'm going to say, drops a little. Mm -hmm. So, you know, maybe you're not practicing it as much, right? But there's still a level of practice. I, I, at, least, at least that's where I am in my life. Now, I reserve the right to say something different <laughs> a month from now. <laughs> that's my disclaimer. <laughs> um, the other thing I, I want to point out is that um, I know a word that I hear or a phrase I hear used a lot is self-care. And I think self-care is, is important, but self-care uh, is an aspect of practicing self-love. It is not, in fact, self-love. You could do tons of things for self-care, right? You could, yes. If you're someone who likes to get manicures, you can get manicures all the time. You can get massages. Uh, you know, I, I want to go out to a nice restaurant. But you can do all those things and not really love yourself. No? Yeah. And, and, I'm, and I'm speaking and I'm speaking from my own experience where there were times when um, I didn't love myself because I didn't even know myself, really, because I had not allowed myself to open up to myself. Yeah. <laughs> and times when to your, you, you made this point about decisions that I would that I would make really were not from a self-love place. They were they were more about. Um, uh, I'll say maybe caring for the other person, which, yeah. which, um, but what I, what I realize is when you are truly practicing self love, there's nothing more loving to give to someone else. Yeah. Right. Whether that's in a romantic relationship, uh, uh, any other type of partnership or friendship, uh, whether you're just trying to help other people, mm -hmm. right. If you're loving yourself because we're all connected, that just in itself extends the love beyond you. And there's nothing more loving. And once you're in that place, now you can even, I'll say, give more. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you, you touched me so much. And, and, and you had so many great, like, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just ringing a yes. And, and I love it because, <clears throat> excuse me, what it, what it feels like back to like being, being that connection. Right. And like it being possible. And you really touched on something there with the self care and self love, very different practice um, practices. I think they're both necessary for us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the times we end up confusing self-care and self-love. And, and even if on a vibrational level, right? So I love to tap into meanings of vibration of words that, that we connect with. Um, so when you connect with care vibrationally, it's actually on a lower vibrational energy than it is of love where it kind of feels and for some of you who know my little chart of like you know uh the vibrations right it's the the bottom one the lowest is like shame okay and um and guilt okay so those are the that's the lower one and then the highest one is enlightenment or like christ consciousness however you feel most connected but that's like you you and full alignment with source right where you feel the most connected so 
love is just a, like two levels below enlightenment, right? So it's like on the way to get into that enlightened state where you're actually living from that place of total abundance, right? And we go in and out. So one thing that's important is that we could be practicing self-love and we could go in and we can go out and we could go in and we could go out. And the same thing with care, but going back to the chart. So love is like really close to the top. And if you were to connect with care, it's, it's kind of between hope. Okay. Which is a little bit lower. Okay. And so a lot of people get like, upset when I say this. I don't want you to be in hope energy, right? Because hoping is I will pray and I will ask, 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 but I won't do, right? It gives off this energy where it's like, um, I, I just don't have enough to do something. So it's like, I hope that I win the lottery, right? But you don't believe it's not enough to manifest. Okay, so I, I just don't get upset with that, please. <laughs> it's not a bad vibration, but it's not a place where you want to create from. Okay, so going back to the care, the care is in that same kind of hope place. It's like, I'm hoping that, you know, this will make me feel loved or make me attract abundance or um, heal myself, whatever it is that you are doing in that self-care, but it's very short-lived in that moment, and it doesn't have long-lasting vibration, enough to create a, con a continuous pattern, wherein self-love does, and, and you're right, it is a practice, and, and it's a lifestyle, right? You just don't practice self-love when you're feeling not loved you practice self-love because you love and because it's your lifestyle and um and this is this is really important because now things in our world is very we could get things instantly instant gratifications and instant things and even though love is instant it's something that is continue you continuously work in or do in or be in right um and it's it really is an embodiment of who you are you just don't pick it up for a short period of time to feel a certain way and then you feel that good way and then it'll come down once you stop so that's that's why i, I like going back to like self-practicing is something that you you know that's continuous i totally agree with that mm -hmm. um shay well, you know, the, the, the conversation we're having right now is all about empowerment, right? Yes. Um, first of all, uh, giving everyone the, the permission mm -hmm. to not only love ourselves, but to practice self-love, right? Because, yes. you know, we're, we're again, um, taught uh, that, you know, focusing on self, well, some of us are taught that focusing on self is selfish right we're also um some of us are taught to uh really put other people first before our, before ourselves um and again just going to what i said it's the, the most loving thing is to self-love because once you self-love you automatically are gonna you're automatically even if you don't do anything if you just sit in your house and you love yourself up your vibration, your frequency rises. Yeah. And we have tentacles that we cannot see that expand way beyond ourselves. And so literally, if you want to help humanity, just sit in your home and love yourself. Yes. You, like so many people are going to be helped just by that. And then you become more empowered uh, to do whatever else you want to do, right? Some people say, oh, I want to help. I want to help the world. I want to help, um, you know, help people ascend, help them expand consciousness, help them do things that they haven't done before in their lives. But I don't know what to do. A great place to start is, is practicing self-love. Yeah. The, um, 
yeah, it's just about a, a vibration. You know, the other thing I wanted to share in terms of, of uh, self-love, actually, before I get to that, since we were talking about self-care, if you're already doing self-care, add some self-love. If you're self-loving yourself, make sure you're doing self-care as well. Right? Yeah, they can work in can, tandem. Maybe we can define it a little bit more for everyone. You know, I know that in the beginning, I couldn't really distinguish between the difference like what is a self love and and what is a self care like i didn't and they're very close together right um and that's where it gets confusing as to well is this actually me loving me or caring for me and um maybe we can help some some people out there cuz i know that was definitely something that was um hard for me at some points to to kind of get Okay. Well, I can, I can express some things. Um, self-care sometimes is, well, these are some of the things that I, I think of when I think of self-care. Uh, they are, am I, if, if physical appearance is important to me, like I said, if manicures are important, that I make sure there's time for me to get my weekly manicure or, you know, bi-weekly manicure. Yeah. Um, if, if, uh, I never have time for myself because I'm doing for others to save some time for myself. Um, if, you know, I go to move a movie a couple times a month, do I actually pick the movie if, or do I just default by default, let someone else pick it? And that's a minor thing. I mean, if you really don't care who okay, that's fine. But if you're just always um, putting yourself on the back burner, the things you want uh, so that others can be happy, that's um, right. That's not practicing self care or self love. But if you choose to say, "Hey, this is the movie I'd like," you know, this is the restaurant I'd like, and of course, being fair, right? Meaning, you know, you don't always pick it, but you don't let someone else always pick it. Those types of things are self care. Um, self love, like I said before, developing a relationship with self. But in addition, I'm, I'm going to add another thing that I think will help distinguish what self love or the practice of self-love is. Yeah. And I think that is, is forgiving of ourselves. Those that uh, have a spiritual practice or are, are, have awakened and are actively on a spiritual path, um, or, or if, if, if you feel a certain way about the word spiritual, I'll say an awakened path. Mm -hmm. um, the, we are taught to forgive. Many people uh, know of the Course in Miracles. And really, the Course of Miracles is, is all about forgiveness. It's all, it's all about forgiveness, which leads to love. Yes. Um, and it, so, and, and there's many, many books that talk about forgiveness. Um, in fact, I remember hearing, um, there's a woman named Mary Morrissey, and I don't know if she came up with this, but I remember hearing her one time say, is a person safe to walk down the streets of your mind? Meaning, if someone upsets you at some point in time or, quote, unquote, did something to you, yeah. have you forgiven them? Yeah. Right? And if you, can, if you think of them and there's some upset or you feel a certain way, then they're, they're, the forgiveness has not been complete, completed. Mm -hmm. uh, but so, so in this, we're taught about forgiving others as a way to, to free ourselves, really. But let's modify that a little. I don't hear, a, well, I hear more and more people talking about self-love. I don't know how many people are talking about self-forgiveness, mm. right? And what, I, and, and what I mean by that is, are you safe to walk down the memories of your own mind? How many things do you think about that you've done throughout your life that you feel bad? You just don't you feel bad about. You feel embarrassed. Man, oh man, I couldn't believe that. But not. But let's even move beyond the embarrassment. The things that we just didn't make the best choices, and we did stuff that we did. We feel bad about. We don't like that we did it. Every time we think about it, our stomach churns. We're like, oh man, why did I do that? Oh, that's hard. you know. And you feel a certain way. So we are beating ourselves up over and over again for that thing. Yeah. Let's. So, so I'm recommending, I recommend it for myself and for others to forgive ourselves, yeah. right? Just like when we forgive someone else, it doesn't mean it didn't happen. 
Yeah. It doesn't mean that we wish we had done better, right? But we can loose ourselves from it such that we can allow ourselves to look at what happened, learn, hopefully learn from it, right? Let's, let's try not to make the same mistake more than once <laughs> and, and heal through that such that we're not just healing ourselves, we're literally healing other people, right? And, and if there's a way to make amends for something that we did, then make amends for it. But to really literally stop beating ourselves up. And that doesn't mean if we forgive ourselves that we think what we did is okay. And we just are flippant about it. Yeah. No, it just means that we have freed ourselves. And I've learned from myself, right? I was doing a lot of forgiveness of other people, but I didn't start with me. And it's an inside job. It starts with me. So as I begin to, to forgive myself, I realized that that freed me up to really truly forgive other people and to forgive them quicker because I, it all starts here. <laughs> it all starts here. So again, um, affirmations uh, for me work. That may not work for other people, but I'm going to share an affirmation. Um, and the, the, let me see, I wrote it down so I didn't forget. Um, and, and this is something I used to, well, I said something slightly different, but the affirmation that I wrote is, I forgive and release myself for all I have said, thought, and done that was not and is not for my highest good and the highest good of all. I'm going to yeah. repeat that. I forgive and release myself for all I have said, thought, and done that was not and is not for my highest good and the highest good of all. Mm. So powerful. So amazing. Thank you for sharing that, Shay. Right now, I feel like a weight has been lifted mm. for a lot, like for myself and also for everyone who's watching, right? Like there's just this permission that we've given ourselves to be released right like so amazing and that is love that that is true love that is true self-love and that's true love for humanity you know and this world when we can really do that and 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 release that pressure right because we we want to do the best that we can all the time and sometimes we are so hard on ourselves you know um or maybe our family has was hard on us because they wanted the best that was the only way they knew how to show up or the way that we knew how to show up mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and and it's okay to say that was the best for that moment and now i don't have to live by those constricting feelings and I release like I release myself and and I love it because today's card was released mm. um, and we had Archangel Michael so I love the synchronized you know the synchronicity that's occurring because this isn't something <laughs> that I planned you know it's just something that happened so and I didn't see today's card oh, I didn't see today's card so that's was amazing <laughs> Yeah, it was released. So it's about letting, like truly letting yourself go, right? And, and letting everything else go, right? And, and really just allowing yourself to start where you are and move from that moment on, right? Mm -hmm. We can't change the past. We can't, can't really do much about the future. It's not here. You know, the only moment we have is the current moment. That is it. So you can choose, am I going to love me, love humanity, or am I not going to love me and love humanity? And it's a choice you make in every moment, right? It's not, it's not something that once you make the decision, you are bound to that decision. We are so free as a human vibration that we, we can choose to be in bondage or we could choose to be free. Like we have the total range of whatever we want to experience. We just haven't fully been taught how to tap into the different ways of it. 
you know, mm -hmm. and self love is one of those ways that can really push us in that upward moment movement. Right. So, um, we do have a comment. So we had a few comments and I just want to share with you. So, Oh yeah, please Rose, share. <laughs> Rose, um, says hello, beautiful souls. Thank you, Rose. Um, we have Moses. He sends us hugs and kisses and love. And we have Rosanna. She asks, um, being or thankful or thankful is a way of self-love. So, you know, I, I love this question. Thank you, Rosanna, because it's like being or thankful, right? Like one, thankful is different than being right the level of vibration um even gratitude and a, even gratitude and appreciation even though people use them interchangeably they're not the same vibration they create a different effect so um what would you like do you have any comments around like being and thankful and and how that steps into like self-love and how that falls into it well i you know, being thankful for yourself, I think is, I think that's great. I mean, even if you, you know, if you can't start from, hey, I love, I love, you know, I love you, Rose, Rose, I love you. If you can say, I am thankful for, you know, how I smile today, right? Gratitude for self, um, you know, I don't, I, 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 I think that it's starting to get you towards that, that self-love. And I think that's a great practice. Yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm thankful for, you know, the, the, who I was today. Uh, I think that's great. You know, being, um, so to me, being isn't just embodying uh, whatever you're practicing. So I, so I think being is kind of literally at the top when you talked about enlightenment and I know, okay, that you might, right. Sometimes we're, our being in one area of our lives is, you know, like sparks are flying out of us, right? And then in another area of our lives, we haven't embodied the being, right? And that's cool. That's fine. Um, I think when, when, when in totality we are being, then that's when we're, again, based on your chart, at that enlightenment stage. Mm -hmm. So I will say that we might be experiencing enlightenment in some areas of our lives and possibly not others. Um, but in, with respect to practicing self-love, if you are the self-love, then you go, girl. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and if you are being that, then you are thankful for yourself. <laughs> yeah, it, it just, it's just hand in hand, <laughs> right? Thank you for sharing that, Shay. And thank you, Rosanna, for your comment and, and your question. Um, very, very beautiful. And, and thank you. So, um, I do want to share, so self, self love. So, um, and I've, I've seen this and I'm just going to talk about it really briefly. Um, but self love, self care and, you know, confidence and then having what, what is, what would be like there's confidence and then there's the opposite of con con you know, confidence, which is like mm. cockiness, right? And we have to check ourselves constantly based on what we're doing, right? Because, and you really, the way that you check yourself, right, is just listening to your body, listening to the expansion, right? Because something that sounds um like some may come off to someone as, oh, that person is arrogant or confident or, or I mean, or cocky is actually that person just validating who they are and their confidence level, right? So, uh, and this could, and, and, and I really think that this is a part of love and self-love is like, I, I know that I'm great, right? I know, I know that I'm great. Do, am I always making great decisions maybe not but i know in my essence i'm great or that that i'm beautiful and then when i'm saying i'm beautiful i'm talking about my whole beingness of beauty right if i go up to someone and i'm like oh i'm beautiful they may think <laughs> i'm talking about like physical and they're like oh she's overly like i don't know cocky or into herself like check yourself right 
but it could also just be something different. So what I guess what I'm sharing here is that only you can decipher what is the practice and, and what's it doing for you. Because for one person, an act of going to actually, you know, get a mani-pedi is the love, where in another person's vibration is the care um, because of, of where they are right and in their experience and so that being said not to confuse anyone <laughs> but to listen to learn how to listen to your energy and learn how to listen to your alignment because one of the the biggest gifts that we can give ourselves is allowing ourselves to to listen to our alignment and our alignment is our higher self right and our higher self only sees the truth and the truth is that you're always healthy you're always abundant you're always expanding so when you're not doing those things right and you're always love right and you're not in that vibration you will start feeling disconnection and that disconnection can lead to whatever you may be going through right illnesses stress all that's because you're not listening to your alignment so give yourself the love Enough, so much love, listen, or even if it's just this much, by putting yourself in alignment, you will blow up and it will be effortless, like totally effortless. And, and I truly believe that. And even myself, I'm going through some stuff in my life and I'm just like, alignment, alignment, <laughs> alignment, you know, and I keep bringing it back to that because as soon as I'm not in alignment, my energy goes down. I don't want to do blah, blah, blah. And then I make self-sabotaging decisions, right? And then it just becomes this spiral in the downward instead of the upward, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So alignment is uh, like amazing. And it's, it's with the love, right? That love that you put in, in into yourself. So... Melissa, I don't, so I don't know what experience you're having in the room you're at, but my heart space feels <laughs> like it's a freaking open like a football field, and and I feel uh, I'm I'm literally physically vibrating right now. Um, I'm also being pushed uh, by my guides to share. Um, about myself from an authentic place, which, which I have to say, everyone, that's a little uncomfortable for me. I am a Scorpio. That is my nature, <laughs> my human nature. We love you. Um, <laughs> so, so this is a little out of my comfort zone, but I, I um, am practicing, you know, listening when I'm guided. So um, you mentioned uh, confidence. So um, I, I'm the youngest of five and I'm much younger than my siblings. And when, and, and as the youngest, you know, I always, I, I strived to be able to do things that they were doing, you know, so that I wouldn't be left behind. Right. And I think that, that, you know, other people who are the youngest, especially when there's large gaps experience the same thing, large gaps in age. Um, so, Part of the, well, I don't know if this, it's the result of that, but I'm very confident, not, not meaning confident that I can do things to get things done. Yes. Um, like, and, and I have a lot of self-esteem, right? So, so meaning like if, if I'm in a, a restaurant and somebody passed out and they needed, at, like, I don't know, they needed their, their surgery on their arm right away, I would be like, get me the book get me the book, let me read it real quick, and I will do the surgery. Like, I am confident that I can do this, right? But, in, but that confidence that I had was not, not accessing the divinity of me, right? Because I, I didn't have an understanding of that. I just kind of knew if I had enough information, I could figure stuff out. And since I had that knowing, that helped to create confidence. But what I learned at some point 
is that even though I was confident and I, and, and that equated to high self-esteem, I didn't love myself. I didn't even like, there was things about me that, you know, I, I, I didn't like what I was doing, how I was showing up for myself. Um, and ultimately making decisions that weren't the best for me. Yeah. And I realized there was a disconnect. So I share that to say that just being confident doesn't necessarily mean you love yourself or are practicing self-love. And, I, and, and when I began to connect, um, you know, to go inside in, in my own seeking of um, the expansiveness of the universe and, and the spirit, then, um, well, well, I had stages, but when, so I was already starting to love myself, but when I really truly went inside, that's when there was a practicing of self-love. Now, do I always show up in a self-loving way? No, I did stuff that I'm like, dang, why'd I do that? Or why'd I feel that way? Oh, you know, hey, look, we're human. We got some human stuff. <laughs> right. Um, and there's, you know, human thought forms and constructs that sometimes, you know, we attach ourselves to. Um, but I, anyway, I just wanted to share that, that, um, you know, even if you're confident, that doesn't mean you practice self-love. And yeah. even if you're not confident, you can still love yourself. Yeah. Right? You yeah. can. Yeah, definitely. Great point. I think that really helps a lot of us understand that it's not just one thing. It's, it's, it's really... And, and, and it's very diverse for everybody, right? So it's, it, it really is important for you to ask yourself, what is my self-love, right? And at the end of the day, only you will know what starts filling you up, yeah. right? Like, and, and I love it because it doesn't matter how much we talk about it, how much we share, how many tips we give you, it doesn't matter what what the you have to do the work right mm -hmm. we could give you the resources so that you can start and start exploring it within yourself but only you know exactly individually what is it that you need in that self-love practice and and using it and it and i'm going to tell you something for practicing self-love um over time it changes all the time sometimes my self-love is doing a specific thing and then sometimes is letting that thing go, that very same thing. So that's important that you are always tell, like knowing what you need and like loving yourself. You know, you know how many times <laughs> when I call people randomly because I do that sometimes and I'm like, hey, how are you doing? And then, you know, oh, Melissa, I haven't been meditating and I feel so bad or whatever thing they said they were going to do and they, they're not doing it. And I'm like, don't feel bad. It's fine as long as you feel that you're full. Now, if you don't feel that you're full, then figure something that does make you feel full in love, right? And, 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 and um, that's something that I really want to put out to the, the community, the spiritual community, is that um, it's individual, right? We are having a collective experience, and we still need to honor the individuality that we are and that we embody and how our individuality actually impacts the whole, right? And sometimes we just need to focus on the self and sometimes we need to focus on the group and it doesn't matter. It just, what matters is that it feels in alignment and that there's nothing going on with guilt, shame, pressure, right? None of that. That, that is no good, you know, not at all. It doesn't serve you. It doesn't serve me. It doesn't serve the collective consciousness. It goes right back to what we're all running away from, which is living in a judgmental world and really moving into a free world, right? Because at the end of the day, that's what we're looking to create is to actually be free, live free and experience life free and have everyone else live free, experience life free and be happy free. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. 
and we can't bring those old ways of being into our new freeness. So we have to be able to learn how to adapt differently and not bring in the same principles, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. those principles are the ones checking us in a way that we don't need to be checked. Divine does not check us. That's right. Divine is just like, oh, but you're fabulous no matter what. You crying, you sad, well, you're still fabulous. <laughs> you happy, you're fabulous. <laughs> you know that's right real talk real, real talk. talk real talk <laughs> it's just the it's the realness it's what's true so you know i i want you to i want you all i want myself to because right now i'm tapping in divinely and i'm like i can't believe these words are flying out of my mouth thank you angels <laughs> thank you shay thank you everyone in the collective because we're creating the space to have these conversations where we're releasing ourselves from the limits right we're, we're bringing taking that out and it starts with love honestly it starts with love and and it it's all love mm -hmm. it starts ends begins middle it's all all part of it is love and the more that we go into it the more that we feel fulfilled and the more that we feel at like ourselves honestly because mm -hmm. there's nothing mm -hmm. more fulfilling than to be ourselves. That's right. That's yeah. right. That's freedom. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Well, Melissa, the only other thing that um, I feel called to say as I look at the screen and I say, you know, those that are practicing self-love, congratulations, do your thing. Those that um, have yet to practice or need to up level or feel like they need to up level their self love practice. Do your thing. It's all good. Allow yourself that um, that space to create the miracles within you, the miracles within us, and know that self love is in fact peaceful praise. Yeah, it definitely is. And you know, I want to share that. Shay will be doing an amazing event on Sunday. Is it Sunday? This Sunday? It's actually next Sunday. Next Sunday. Um, Sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay. If you don't mind, I'm gonna I'm gonna put up. Uh, yes, please do just, share. Just give me a minute. I'm gonna put up two things about. Uh, I'm gonna be speaking at um, an expo in New Jersey, which is which is called the Psychic and Healing Expo. Uh, it's in a place called Cherry Hill, New Jersey, and I'm going to see if I can do this. Yeah, and what's so great is um, and while you pull that up, I'll talk so you can get that done. Um, so what's so great about this is that you are going to be practicing your self-love, and if you're looking to really build or learn a little bit more, or be in a community of people who are practicing or wanting to practice self-love, this is the place to go right now. <laughs> that's right. That's Don't right. Say. <laughs> the, well, if you, hey, if you are in New Jersey uh, and are able to come to Cherry Hill, I welcome you. I'd love to meet you. Please say hello. Um, I'm calling it Hanging Out in the Love Vibration with Peaceful Praise. I'm going to be speaking at 2 p.m. It's for half an hour, and I will be speaking about practicing self-love. Um, I'll also be there throughout the entire day. Uh, it's in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. The admission is just $5 and there'll be a lot of things going on. Um, there'll be different types of light workers and practitioners with all different modalities that are helping people. Um, also, I want to share, I'm going to change this, put this on the screen. Um, if you are thinking about coming to the event, um, there is a seven day giveaway contest. Uh, you can enter by going to psychicexpo.org and joining the mailing list. That is not my mailing list. Uh, it's the organizers of the event. But if you uh, go to the mailing list and enter, uh, and uh, you will be put in a drawing to win one of the seven prizes that are up on the screen. And um, you do have to actually attend the expo to um, to you know, actually exchange for the event. I want to point out that um, I one of the things that is in the giveaway is something that uh, I am providing, which is a two-hour healing session for a group of six to eight people. So if you think you're going to go to the expo 
hey, just, just, you know, try to get a gift, <laughs> try to get a, a gift. Um, and, and that two hour healing session, literally, if you have a group of friends or a small community um, or family, um, depending on where it is, I would either come live or be doing that healing um, virtually. We'll, we'll be healing each other and healing uh, ourselves. So thanks again. Um, Melissa, thank you for allowing, I'm going to take this off the screen. Thank you for allowing me to share that and for sharing that information. And thank yeah. you for this time. You know, hey, look, I love when you and I talk, period. So <laughs> this, is, this is just like we're talking like we always talk. But um, I, I hope this is helpful uh, for people. I do know that the vibration that we've extended today um, has, has raised the vibration um, beyond us, whether people actually see this or not. Um, because it's it's in motion, um, and I do hope that uh, anyone who watches it, it's helpful. Um, and uh, please feel free to to leave comments, even if you're not watching it live. If you watch it later, uh, and you know, I'm 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 happy to uh, help in any way, shape, or form. And uh, you know, whatever I can do to help you, also, Melissa, I'm 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 here. Well, thank you so much, Shay. I think this is an amazing opportunity. You know, if you're in Jersey, please go. I'm going to try my best to go. Um, so I'm working on the logistics of like making that happen because I want to be there. I want to be in this energy of beautiful people who actually are wanting or already in the vibration and that's that's the people i want to hang out with i'm sorry to everyone else <laughs> but this is the energy i want to be in because that's what makes me feel good and that's my love right and and it just feels so good so i'm gonna try my best to make that happen and to see you shay um and give you a beautiful hug <laughs> cool cool and I also want to share that you can follow Shay on her Facebook page, Peaceful Praise. Okay, it's also in the caption. Okay, so if you're watching on Facebook, you'll see it on the caption. If you are watching the recording on YouTube, I'll put in her link as well so that you can join her group and really just be inspired by her wonderful prayers and beautiful loving energy. That's at least that's what I get from her and her shares on on like social media. It's just it's just a place I know that I could go when I need to feel some beautiful love. I know where to go and it's at peaceful praise. So thank you so much, Shay. This this oh, was amazing. I had so much fun having this conversation. Um, and I'm looking forward to having you on again. <laughs> oh, thank you, Melissa. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm very humbled. I'm very, very humbled. I, you know, I, I think we thought we were going to do this in about 20 minutes or a half an hour, but you know, spirit, spirit had different, a <laughs> different idea, <laughs> but, um, but truly thank you. I am, I'm, I'm so grateful and, um, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very humbled by, um, you know, by, by what spirit, how spirit shows up really am. So thank you. Thank you. And thank you everybody who, who uh, watches this. And um, if you feel called to share it with someone, if you think it will be helpful for others, please feel free to do so. Yes. Thank you so much. Um, and this was a lot of fun. Um, I also, if you can, what would be awesome, Shay, is that once the video is done on Facebook, if you could just write something from your peaceful praise um, so that people can just click right there. So simple. I want to make it as easy as possible to, for people to go and say yes to peaceful praise. Oh, um, thank you. And, and like that, we can have it and maybe we can even share the flyer or the link for people to show up for the event. That, that would be golden. <laughs> okay. Great. Thank you. Thank you for that opportunity to do so. Yeah. Thank so thank you, everyone. I send you so much love, so much kisses. I love you unconditionally. <laughs> Namaste.